Hackenberg as they spend in good times. At so right now what we're seeing is a 4% cut to institutions over the next two years. But what's more disturbing to me is the long-term goal they're outlining, which is decreasing reliance on government funding and increasing reliance on tuition and using that as a means of revenue generation. So that's what worries me the most. Uh, that's definitely going to be like the next push or the next fight that we have to have um, is saying that you can't use tuition to have more revenue for the institutions. That's just not going to work. Um, I'm, I'm not surprised. Uh, this is what I expected, essentially. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Um, it's okay, but it's, there are some negative implications, of course. I'm waiting to see what we're going to get for mental health, if we're going to get anything. I'm still waiting to see what is in the budget for employment programs. Um, the one positive benefit that I just spoke about is, is the financial aid aspect. So students will be eligible for more loans. Uh, there will be some more increased grant funding for some areas, but I think in general there is decreased grant funding, so that's negative again. Um, I think there's a lot to digest here, and again, it could have been worse, but it's not that great. So you're working on the Get Out the Vote campaign, and obviously uh, there's rumors of an election coming up, so what do you want students to do in the Get Out the Vote campaign? I want students to vote. Uh, we are a voting bloc. We have a lot of power if we can go out and vote. And that's what we're going to be doing, is pushing students to the polls, uh, making sure they're up to date with all the issues. And that's our job, to educate students and, again, to educate them on how to vote, where to vote, and encourage them in doing so. There are no imminent changes to tuition. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be engaging with all of our post-secondary stakeholders and engaging in a discussion about how we can make the system better. Uh, what we're doing is we're investing $2 billion into our post-secondary system. That's, uh, that's above the average in Canada, and students right now pay below the average as far as tuition is concerned. So we have a very good, sound system in Alberta, and uh, you know we're going to make it better. We're going to engage in a consultation process, and that's going to take some time. We're going to get the best ideas and move forward. Um, I think the, well, the post-secondary sector was predicting a bigger cut, um, so in that sense, I guess it's a little better than we thought. It's still um, a substantial cut, and I think it's still going to affect a lot of students and uh, in a negative way. Um, so though it's a little better than we anticipated, uh, it's still going to have negative effects on, on students. I, I stand by those comments. Um, I think you're hearing the um, minister and, and this government say uh, that we're going to take a long-term approach to how we get to a balanced situation. We don't want to go backwards and we want to use uh, every tool available to us to ensure we do just that, that we don't go backwards, that we build great post-secondary institutions, that the University of Alberta stays strong. And, um, and I think that's the message that they're sending, that, uh, uh, that um, we're going to uh, probably give you more tools on the revenue side. We expect you to be uh, conscientious on the expense side and um, keep building a great university.